paper on the door. I kind of randomly decided to do that today. We still have an ant. There's still a couple ants. The uh, borax seems to have reduced them significantly. Uh, but anyway, I got the paper on the bathroom door. And then I discovered a... I don't even know what how many different wallpapers I'm up to now. I discovered a new wallpaper in the bathroom nook cabinet. <laughs> and actually, there is another wallpaper here. <laughs> I think I should have kept count. There's probably seven different wallpapers in here. But anyway, <laughs> the bathroom door is now wallpapered. And my rationale for choosing this wallpaper is because I don't think I can grow aspen where I'm growing where I'm going. But this is a nice vignette of aspen in the winter. So I like it. It might actually be birch, but I think it's aspen. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of a nice focal point and kind of some art to look at. Kitties are helping me with the re, uh, Reno project on the V. Um, and what I really wanted to do is show you this. I decided to deconstruct. I think I got this maybe at Ikea. I'm not sure. It was some kind of fold-out table with one of those collapsible, you know, um, tables. But I didn't really ever use it except for to put stuff on and very occasionally used it for doing some art stuff. Um, but um, anyway, I decided that the tabletop was nice. It's a little large for this space, but it's not really that too large. It's not that much too large. So I think instead of trying to cut it into it and all this with my less than stellar carpentry abilities, um, I'm just going to try it like this and then I can always change it. But um, I'm going to, I pulled the leg off of one of this like old Ikea table I'd been using. Well, not old. I'd had it for a while, I guess, but it wasn't old. But it was at an Ikea table, and I had been looking for these kind of brackets that you could buy for these legs, and nobody in the, any of the hardware stores I went to knew what I was talking about, let alone carried them, <laughs> which seems weird. But, um, I, you know, that is what it was. But so I took them off that because they're metal, and um, they have the thing attached to it. And then I was wanted to film this because actually, well, one, it's a cool project, it's fun, but um, I think... If I use, so what I'm doing right now is kind of strategizing, you know, as I go on the fly. But I, I think if I use the res, the wood that I recovered from the old loft panel, I can brace up, like, make sure that the two pieces, the two halves, are solidly together and supported in the middle. Because what I want to do is potentially even just put up hinges or probably not just hinges, but some kind of bolster under the bottom of the table on the wall side. And then actually just have it rest and attach to that with hinges on the bottom. Just because why not? Why put an extra leg when I don't really need one, right? And then just use one leg. And what I'm hoping is that because this material is actually really pretty sturdy, I won't have the wobble that that piece of plywood, which I'm actually using to do the work, that this plywood had because it was only like a quarter of an inch. And this stuff is hmm, maybe half an inch. It's not that much thicker, but it's a different material. I think it's like probably a composite. And it's got this laminate, whatever this is, on top of it too. So it's just way more sturdy than the plywood. So I'm thinking this is a good move. It would be cool if I had a piece of wood that could go, or like two pieces of wood basically, that could go all the way from the front to the back. But I don't think I really need them because I'm not actually putting any kind of cross bracing this way. This will have a cross space under it, and then, yeah, I'm going to try it, <laughs> and we'll see how it goes. But I'm just excited I'm using the wood I got, I recycled from that panel, from the loft. <laughs> Recycling makes me happy. Mm -hmm. 